Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my fourth video using the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Vault Collection. And today I'm going to be using Bling Balls. And this is the palette that most people had trouble with. And I'm really hoping that I don't have trouble with this one. I haven't tried this out at all. It's literally still got the um, plastic sheet in it. But I'm going to be using it today, and yes, I am in another filming setup. I really hope you guys like this one. Me and my husband cleaned out our back bedroom. That's where I am. We cleaned it out the other night, and I kind of want to make this in my filming room, um, but still have a bed in here in case we have guests over or anything like that. So I think this is where I'm going to be filming. I may change up the background just a little bit because I probably won't have flowers in here all the time. But I really hope you guys like this filming setup. Um, it's actually really fall vibes, which is not what I planned. This is just what I had on the bed in here. But anyway, I'm going to be using that palette today. And I know I look a little bit weird. All I have on right now is foundation, concealer, powder, and my brows. And I wanted to do that because I wanted to show you guys what I was going to be using on the rest of my face. Just to kind of put this look together. Like more of a cooler, kind of a cool tone palette, but with, it's still purple. And I will be using Morphe brushes in this video today. I got those in and I used them in my last video. If you haven't watched my last video, I did my Sephora recommendations for the VIB sale. I think that this video will be up on the last day of the sale, which will be Monday, Labor Day for the United States, the 3rd. So if you are going to be shopping the sale, probably the last day is the day that this video goes up. But I am going to be using Morphe brushes in this video because I wanted to see if they would pick up the product any differently than the other two palettes. I have not had any trouble with the other two palettes and I'm kind of hoping for the same with this video. So I'm really excited to get into it. So, so if you want to see me create a look with the Bling Boss palette, then let's just go ahead and get started. So right off the bat, I wanted to say that this package feels a little bit more cheapy than the others. Um, it feels like it's kind of broken a little bit on the inside. But this is what the colors look like. I think they are super pretty. They're all pretty neutral kind of colors. They're kind of toned down colors except for this color right here in the middle called Gem. This could be like an everyday wearable palette for some people if you really like purples. I don't play around with purples too often, but I do like the way that they look, so I'm excited to jump into this palette. Like I said in the intro, I'm going to be using the Morphe brushes today so I could see if they picked up the product any differently or if I had any different kind of experience with the palette using those brushes. So I'm going to go ahead and do my eyes and then I will put mascara and stuff on and then we'll go ahead and finish up the rest of the face and I'll show you everything that I'm using like that. So I did get these Morphe brushes and I will say what which one I'm using when I go through and do the eye look. I also bought another set of brushes, eye brushes, just to have clean versions of the other one just in case I need them and also to have in my um, clientele makeup bag. So first, they do look stained because they are stained, but I have washed them and since I used them with the Soft Glam Palette in my last video. But first I'm going to go in with the Morphe M441 and I'm going to go in with the shade right here called Hush Hush. It is a pretty cool toned mauve shade and I'm just going to put that right into the crease. So I'm just going to take it on this brush and I'm not getting like hardly any kickback and I'm just going to go ahead and run this into the crease. Okay, so that is what that shade looks like in the crease. I'm sorry that I'm so far away, um, or it seems like I'm so far away. My camera's not that far away from me, but when I zoom in on the lens, it doesn't stay in focus. I have to stay very still, so it works for me to kind of stay zoomed out. So um, that shade blended really, really nicely, actually, and I don't wear these shades very often, and it kind of <laughs> looks crazy that I don't have any of like blush or bronze or highlight or anything like that on. But it is blending very, very nicely. And I don't notice like any kind of different picking it up on the Morphe brush. Um, the Morphe brushes are a little bit more scratchy than what I'm used to. They're a little bit more rough. But I don't mind that. And I actually, I think I kind of prefer it because it makes the products kind of a little bit easier to work with. Because it kind of disperses it a little bit better. I don't really know how to explain it. But that, that uh, color Hush Hush blended out really, really nicely. So the next brush I'm going to take is this Morphe M433. And I'm going to take this shade right here called Sparks. I wish that in this palette there was a little bit darker of a shade like this. Besides just going in really heavy handed with this reddish 
purple shade. I wish there was one more color that was a little bit lighter than this, but still darker than the original transition shade. But that's okay. We're going to make it work. So I'm going to take the N433 and I'm just going to take a little bit of that on the brush. And I'm not getting like any kickback or anything like that. And I'm just going to, wow, that's really, really pigmented. I'm just going to lay this on the outer corner and the outer crease. I'm bring it in about halfway. This shade, I will say, looks a lot different on my eye than it does in the pan. In the pan, it looks like a really, really, like, kind of almost crimson red. But on my eye, it's kind of coming off as a purple-toned pink kind of red. It may be that I set my lids down and it's not just a sticky base. To prime my lids today, I used the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. And I set it down with the RCMA No Color Powder. So there's that, and I'm going to go back in with that original fluffy brush, the M441, and I'm going to just blend the edges of that. Okay, I am getting a little bit of a dark spot right here in my crease. I'm not sure why, but I am getting a little bit of a dark spot, but it's nothing too bad that I couldn't work with, but just letting you guys know. But overall, that blended out pretty well, except for that spot right there. It kind of looks really dark purple for some reason, but I am going to go back into the M433 and just a little bit more of Sparks and pack it on the lid right here and on the outer corner. Not too, too much. This does lay down kind of that red color, but when you blend it out, it kind of turns more into a purpley pink color. Really, honestly, you could take this brush right here and run that Sparks color on the lower lash line, throw one of these shimmers on some mascara, and just run out the door, and it would be a really pretty everyday kind of look. But those two shades really did blend very well together. Now I'm going to take the Morphe E18 brush. This is just a little pencil brush, and I'm going to go into that shade called Sparks, and I'm going to just run that on the lower lash line. This is a synthetic brush. The other brush that I was using, the other two brushes actually that I was using, are goat hair brushes. So they're natural haired. Then I'm going to go in with that original fluffy brush and I'm going to take a little bit more of Hush Hush on it and I'm just going to blend out the Sparks color on the lower lash line. Okay, I am going to take the Morphe M513 and I'm going to take this shade right here called Rockstar. This is the most vibrant purple besides the gem color, but this is the most purple tone in the palette but it is a very berry colored purple like almost a grape colored purple and I'm going to just take it on this brush and I'm going to just take just a little bit of it it is really pigmented and I am getting a little bit of kickback nothing too terrible but I'm just going to take this and I'm going to place it right out here on the outer corner and I'm going to take it and run it into the crease as well and that really did give the lid a grape toned color. And I'm just going to go back in with the original fluffy brush and just blend the edges of that as well. Okay, I just wanted to take just a little bit of that. I'm going to take the Morphe M574. It's just a pointed pencil brush. It's a kind of a fat pencil brush. And I'm going to take the shade called Mystic. It's the deepest shade, deepest matte shade in the palette. And I'm just going to put that right on the outer lash line. And I can already tell that the shade's going to be really, really pigmented. This is a very dark purple, almost a brown. But I'm just going to take this and I'm going to run it right out here on the lash line. And I'm just bringing that up into the outer corner here. And I'm going to go back in with the Morphe M433 that we used the shade Sparks on. And I'm just going to blend the edges of that color. And I did get a little bit of fallout from that deepest shade. Just going to brush away the fallout with this brush here. I am experiencing a little bit of patchiness right through here. But that just may be my blending. I'm going to take that original fluffy brush that we used the first transition shade on. And I'm going to blend the edges of this shadow all around the edges. 
I am going to take that Morphe E18, the little pencil brush, and I'm going to take the shade called Mystic, and I'm just going to run it on the lower lash line right at the outer corner. Okay, now I'm going to do one of the shimmer shades, and I'm not going to cut the lid with concealer today. I am just going to go straight in with the shimmer. I'm going to take that little flat brush that I always use with the shimmers, and I'm going to take the shade right here called Glitz and Glam. And I am going to wet my brush just because that's what I always do. But just kind of running my brush into this shade, it feels pretty, um, pretty thick. I don't really know how to explain that. I am going to wet my brush after I get this pigment on there. And I'm just going to place that shade right here on the mid of the lid and into the inner corner. That is a really pretty shade. There's a shade in her original palette that I really like using. I'll actually swatch the two side by side. The shade in her original palette that I like using is called Faint. You can see I just destroyed this color. But it is a little bit more pink toned than um, and a little bit lighter than Glitz and Glam. But I will swatch them side by side. And I'll also swatch the inner corner highlight shade that I'm going to use. You can see that the one that I use called Faint is just a little bit lighter and a little bit more pink than Glitz and Glam. But they're both really, really nice shades to put all over the lid. The shade that I'm using on the lid right now is a, is a little bit more rose gold than anything. And I'm just leaving the very inner corner open for another shade. On that same brush, I'm going to take this shade right here called Berry Treasure. It is kind of almost a black, but it has a shimmer reflex of pink and purple in it. It's almost a duochrome, but I'm just going to take that on that same flat brush. And this, holy crap, is really pigmented. Okay, I wasn't expecting it. And there's a lot of fallout, but I was not expecting it to be that pigmented. I mean, like, holy crap. And I'm just going to put this right here, right next to that Glitz and Glam shade. And I'm just going to kind of mesh those two together with the outer corner. Okay, that's not exactly what I wanted to do. So I'm just going to work with it. So I'm going to go ahead and I guess run this all the way out to my outer corner. Because when you put it on the eye, it kind of loses the shimmer. So it's almost like a matte black which is not exactly what I wanted to do with this look but I guess I'm just gonna have to work with it now I'm gonna go into the um, M513 and I'm going to just blend the edges out of that shade that just made it a little more smoky than I wanted but that's okay I'm gonna just take my little color switch that I got from AOA Studios and I'm just going to clean my flat brush off so I'm going to go in with that same flat brush that I just cleaned off and I'm going to go into the shade right here called Bling Bling and I'm going to not wet it and I'm going to put it on the very inner corner. I really like this shade. It is just a little lighter than Glitz and Glam and since I have those two swatches still on my hand right here, I'm going to swatch Bling Bling and I'm going to put it next to that faint shade from her original palette. This is Bling Bling from the Bling Balls palette, and this is Faint from her original palette, and then this is Glitz and Glam from the Bling Balls palette. Those two are not very far off from each other, and I really, really, really like both of those shades. So I'm glad that that shade is in there because now I kind of have a backup of that shade if I run out of it. I am just going to take that Bling Bling shade and I'm going to run it on the inner tear duct. It is pretty pink, but I'm also going to take it up here onto the brow bone. I'm going to take this big Morphe M524 and I'm just, it's clean and I'm just going to buff everything around the edges out. I do again have a little bit of fallout. Okay, and that is one eye complete. Um, it's not my favorite eye look I've ever created, but I do really, really, really like the shimmers. I kind of messed the eye look up when I went into that shade called Very Treasure just because I thought there would be a little bit more shimmer to it, but there was really none at all. But I mean, I'm not totally mad at it. I did experience a little bit of patchiness, but nothing that I couldn't work with. And the end result looks pretty good. I am just blending out a little bit more. But the end result looks pretty good. I mean, I don't wear purple tones a whole, whole lot, so it may just be me and the use of me not using purple and I also don't have any bronzer or anything like that on so it is really really pretty the shimmers really really make up for it 
So I'm going to do the other eye off camera and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to do mascara and then we'll finish up the rest of the face. Okay, I just finished with the other eye. I definitely didn't have as much trouble with this eye than I did this one, but I kind of did a different technique where I put that like that darker Blackberry Treasure shade on before I put the shimmers on. So it was a little bit easier to blend out and I didn't experience any patchiness or anything like that. But I am just going to go ahead and throw a brown pencil in the waterline. I don't want to put black because I think it's just going to be a little bit too harsh. So I'm going to take the LA Girl God on Gel liner in the shade Dark Brown and I'm just going to put it on the tie line. And then for mascara, I'm going to be using the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. I've used this a couple of times since filming the um, Sephora recommendations. And I really, really, really like this mascara. And I'm probably going to pick it up in the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale when it's 50% off. But I'm going to just go ahead and throw this mascara on. Okay, so that's what it looks like with the mascara on. Now I'm going to move on to the rest of the face. So for bronzer today, I'm going to be taking the Morphe M527 brush. I mentioned this in my Sephora recommendations that I bought this brush because it kind of looks like the Tom Ford bronzer and blush brush. But the Tom Ford brushes are like $120, which is crazy. So I bought this one and I've been really liking it. But for bronzer, I'm going to mix the two shades Desert and Terracotta in the... Tarte Clay Play Volume 1 palette. I am not sure if those are the same shades. I know that the Terracotta Bronzer is still in that palette, but I'm just going to take it on this brush just a little bit. Just to diffuse that a little bit, I'm going to take the e.l.f. Stipple brush and just blend over it. And also on the same e.l.f. brush, I am going to take a little bit of the Too Faced Sweethearts Bronzer in Sweet Tea. And I'm just going to run just a little bit of this on my cheeks over that other bronzer. The reason I'm using this brush is because it just kind of diffuses the bronzer a little bit more than that Morphe one. For blush today, I'm going to be taking Milani's Berry Amore blush, and I'm going to be taking it on the Morphe G4 brush. I think I have replaced my Holy Grail e.l.f. blush brush. I think I just like this one just a little bit more because I can disperse the product just a little bit better on my cheeks. But I'm just going to be taking that blush, and I'm just going to hit it right here on the cheeks. For highlighter today, I'm going to be taking the Smashbox and Casey Home Spotlight Palette in Pearl. And I'm just going to be using the uh, middle shade right here. I'm going to be taking it on the Luxie 522 Tapered Highlighting Brush. Okay, there's that. And for lips today, I'm going to be using one of the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipsticks. This is from the Le Chocolates line. This is their scented liquid lipsticks. And if you've not smelled one of these, just go pick one up at Walmart and open the top and smell it. It literally smells like a fresh baked chocolate cake. It smells so, so good. And this one is in the shade Dose of Cocoa. It's a pretty cool toned kind of pinky mauve. That's why I was going to pair it with these eyes. And this is the final look. I am going to go into my final thoughts now. I will just say that I would use this palette again, definitely. But I don't think that I would use the colors together again. I think that I would pair this palette with another palette. I think the shimmers in here are absolutely gorgeous. I would definitely use those again. And I really want to play around with this color right here called Gem. But I don't know if I would exactly use the same colors on my eyes as I have on now. Um, but I would definitely use this palette again and I would create this look again and I'm just noticing that my lips almost match the color hush hush like exactly so I would definitely use this again I had just a little bit of trouble on this eye but I didn't have any trouble on this one so maybe it was just my blending I'm pretty sure it probably just was my blending but Overall, I have really, really, really liked these palettes. I have one more to use, and that is the Armed and Gorgeous palette. And I'm excited to play with that one because I think it is one of the prettiest in the whole vault collection. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see any more looks using this palette, then let me know. I guess I will just see you guys in my next video. Bye.